you're listening to Do This First, a daily personal development podcast that focuses on science-backed, actionable steps towards your best year ever. Hi, I'm Sandy, your host. Today, we're kicking off a new 10-part series, The Stoics, Lessons in Leadership and Life. Stoicism is primarily concerned with attaining inner peace, tranquility, and virtue through the practice of reason, self-control, and acceptance of the natural world. It teaches us to focus on what we can control, like thoughts, actions, and attitudes, and to accept what we cannot control. The central tenets of Stoicism include the importance of moral goodness, the pursuit of wisdom, moderation in all things, and the development of self-discipline. The Stoics believe that humans should live in accordance with nature and that virtuous living is the path to true happiness. They emphasize the notion of the Stoic calm in promoting emotional resilience and rationality when dealing with life's adversity. Stoicism gained popularity in ancient Rome and influenced many prominent figures, including the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, the statesman Seneca, the playwright Epictetus, and others. The teachings of Stoicism continue to be influential throughout history, with notable figures such as Francis Bacon, Rene Descartes, and Immanuel Kant, one of my favorites, drawing inspiration all from the Stoic philosophy. In contemporary times, Stoicism has experienced a resurgence in popularity as people seek practical wisdom and guidance in navigating the complexities of modern life. Many find solace in Stoic principles and practices such as journaling and the practice of negative visualization, which we're going to talk about here in a minute. All this is done for personal growth and resilience. Stoicism continues to be regarded as a valuable philosophical framework for achieving a balanced and meaningful life, promoting virtues such as courage, justice, wisdom, and self-control. Its emphasis on reason, ethics, and personal development resonates with individuals seeking to cultivate a resilient mindset and lead a more fulfilling existence. This is not a religion. This is a mindset. It's a way to relate to things on a more practical and reasonable level. Today we're going to take a look at one of the greatest Stoic tools that at first may seem counterintuitive given the extreme optimism hype of recent years. However, mental resilience is nurtured when we feel confident managing life. The tool is negative visualization, and it is a stoic tool that involves deliberately imagining or contemplating worst case scenarios or adversities that could befall oneself. The purpose of negative visualization is not to dwell on negativity or induce unnecessary fear or anxiety, but rather to cultivate a sense of gratitude, perspective, and resilience. By envisioning potential misfortunes or losses, we can start practicing negative visualization to gain a deeper appreciation for the things that we often take for granted in our lives, such as health, relationships, possessions, or opportunities. This exercise serves as a reminder of the impermanence of life and the fragility of circumstances, prompting us to really savor and cherish present moments. The potential effects of negative visualization include increased gratitude. By contemplating potential losses, we can develop a heightened sense of gratitude for the blessings and privileges that we currently enjoy in our lives. It really does help us recognize and appreciate the richness of life by acknowledging the fragility and impermanence of what we possess. When engaging in negative visualization to enhance gratitude, we can visualize scenarios such as the loss of a loved one, their health deteriorating, financial hardship, or the absence of the opportunities we currently have. By mentally confronting these possibilities, we're prompted to acknowledge the value and significance of these blessings, fostering a deeper sense of appreciation and thankfulness for what we have in the present. It's a profound shift in perspective. I mean, recognizing the abundance in life that is overlooked and underappreciated is what this is all about. Another benefit of negative visualization 
is resilience. Facing hypothetical challenges in one's mind can build emotional resilience and mental fortitude, preparing us to cope better with actual difficulties when they rise. Building resilience through negative visualization involves mentally preparing oneself to confront potential adversities and challenges, thereby fortifying one's emotional strength, adaptability, and capacity to navigate tough situations with resilience and composure. When we engage in the practice of visualization, of visualizing hypothetical challenges, we are essentially exercising our emotional muscle by exposing ourselves to discomfort and uncertainty in a controlled setting. By confronting imagined obstacles, we can gradually desensitize our fears, anxiety, and stress, cultivating a mindset of resilience that enables us to confront real life difficulties with greater confidence. Through the process of mentally grappling with potential hardships, we can develop a proactive and solution-oriented approach to adversity. We learn to anticipate obstacles, formulate strategies for coping and problem solving, and strengthen our capacity to endure discomfort and setbacks with grace and determination. Building resilience through negative visualization fosters psychological preparedness and agility, enabling us to bounce back from setbacks, setbacks, and setbacks <laughs> with resilience and adaptability. By training the mind to confront challenges imaginatively, we can enhance our ability to maintain focus, emotional balance, and clarity in the face of adversity, fostering a sense of empowerment and confidence in our abilities to overcome obstacles. Ultimately, by honing resilience through the practice of facing hypothetical challenges in our minds, we can cultivate a robust mental fortitude that equips us to respond to life's trials with strength, flexibility, and a steadfast resolve, paving the way for personal growth, self-mastery, and well-being. Negative visualization also helps us gain perspective on our problems and worries, realizing that many perceived challenges may not be as significant in the grand scheme of things. Believe it or not, by confronting potential negative outcomes in a controlled setting, we may experience reduced anxiety and fear of the unknown in real-life situations. I know it sounds counterintuitive, the thing is that a lot of fear is rooted in the unknown. When you are visualizing different case scenarios, you can also imagine a variety of solutions and how each can potentially play out. This can help you make better decisions and lessen the fear of the unknown and take preventative actions to mitigate risk. Overall, negative visualization serves as a powerful stoic tool to foster a sense of humility, appreciation, and inner strength in the face of life's uncertainties and challenges. It encourages us to embrace the present moment and cultivate a resilient mindset that can lead to greater contentment, wisdom, and better decisions. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to leave a review, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Do This First. You can also read a full transcript of this podcast episode and all 149 podcast episodes and counting on my blog, do this first life. You can also sign up for my new weekly newsletter, which will help you get your week started on a positive note and updates on coaching, books, merch, and my public speaking engagements as they become available. Tomorrow, we'll continue with our 10-part Stoic Lessons in Leadership series. Till tomorrow. Moving past the rain, moving past the pain, or past the color blue, I see power in you. Past where the down, look around, they can't be found. I see, I see, I see, I see a chance. Champion.